Hello, this is Skim. I'm Scott. I'm Kim. And we're actually going to do a keto version, version of Korean fluffy coffee. Okay? So it's delicious and whenever we find stuff that's awesome and it really helps us to stay on keto, mm -hmm. we'd like to share it. So we're going to actually show Kim making the, the keto it's Korean fluffy coffee. And it's, it's actually really simple. So all you need is um, instant coffee. We use half decaf and half um, regular instant. But it has to be instant. It cannot be the regular coffee. We don't want to get too jittery, so that's why we split it in half. Yeah. <laughs> so. And so that's a tablespoon um, each. So two tablespoons, two tablespoons of coffee. And pretty much it's one tablespoon mm -hmm. for each person. Yeah. So since we're making it for two people. Now pull that up honey, so they well, can see what you're doing. It's actually going to be this bag right here. All right. The next so thing the next ingredient is this. And we actually found that at Costco for $8.99. I'm really excited because I have been ordering it on Amazon for like $15. So it's way cheaper. And it's the golden kind. It's not the white sugar replacement. So it's actually made out of monk fruit. Here, you should have. Yeah. It's made out of monk fruit and erythritol. So, so two of these go into the bowl. And I actually put just a little bit extra just to give it a little bit of... Yeah. All right. So okay. this is. Do you want me to show real quick? Just hold that up. Oh here, I can just show it. So it's just. It kind of looks like that. So yeah. far. Yeah. Right. And then we boiled um, water in my lovely little kettle, and I'm just gonna pour a little bit of this water into a bowl so I can measure it out easier. Okay. That's probably gonna be really hot. So it's how hot, hot. How hot does it have to be? Boiling. Boiling. You have to boil it. Okay. So I'm just gonna take the water. Again, equal parts, so it's two tablespoons of the water, of the boiling water. So pretty easy, two, two, and two. Mm -hmm. All right. And then the next thing, you are you do need a mixer, and you're just gonna mix the ingredients. All right, so this, I'm, I, I'm gonna hold this up a little bit. Okay, okay. But, okay, I was gonna say, while I'm doing this though, you can pour the almond milk at okay. some point. You don't All have to do it right this second, but. All right. Go ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna start on low. Just to kind of get it all mixed together. <laughs> okay, so this is skim uncut. We're not really doing high quality uh, video. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it on higher now. And what's interesting is that this is gonna make this lighter. It's gonna be real fluffy. And from what I understand, it's because of the air that's being um, put into the coffee. And the coffee molecules rest on the sugar molecules, and that's what causes it to have this like whipped kind of look to it. You're gonna notice it's gonna get lighter as well. I'm gonna just put it on higher. It's gonna get loud. <laughs> you see how it's already frothing up? It makes it really like creamy, like a. Mm -hmm. And from what I understand, this is non dairy, so this is great for people who are lactose intolerant. It's getting lighter and fluffier. Mm -hmm. well, you could probably start pouring the um, okay the milk. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back and pour the milk and get that ready. All right. You gotta shake up the almond milk. We actually use almond milk. Sweetened almond milk. And we're gonna pour that in the cup. And you shook it up. Yeah, I shook it up. Oh, you gotta get the Korean skin. Oh, wait. Are you 
still in front of the Get two of them. Okay, so it's looking pretty good. Look how light it's gotten. Alright. Okay. It's looking lovely. Okay. It's looking lovely. Okay, and then I just take one of these. I love these spatulas because it's like a spoon and a spatula. And I just put the fluffy goodness in the coffee or in the milk. Ooh, I got a little bit. Can you turn the cup a little bit? See how fluffy it is, though? It's pretty amazing. So it's kind of like a, a cafe con leche or a... But it's cold. But it's cold. Mm -hmm. Or it's, yeah. So it's kind of like a cold... Um, Latte, I guess? Yeah. I I'm not a big time coffee connoisseur, so I don't know all the fancy names for it. All I know is it's good. And what we find is that when we drink this, it actually curbs our appetite for like a long time. I think it's because of the healthy fat from the coconut milk. Yeah. So or if you're doing intermittent fasting... Mm -hmm. And you can you drink one of these in the morning. A lot of times we won't eat again until like you know one two o'clock. So, all right. So basically, once you you get this like so, you just take it and stir it. Around. Start stirring it around. This can be tricky if it's super full, but once you get it going, it kind of collapses on itself a little bit, and then it just turns into a like a creamy cappuccino. Mm -hmm. And it's just a yummy. It's really yummy. All right. So you can start to see how it's mixing with the milk. You want to mix it thoroughly. And I don't know if you notice, there's just a few ice cubes in there. Just to make it extra cold. Just to re yeah, and really cool it off. The coconut milk, cool. you don't have to add, but I think it, it's actually good if you're trying to... Yeah, do keto. Keto, yeah, because it's, it's, again, it's the good fat. But you don't have to add it if you don't like coconut. I actually... I'm not a huge fan of coconut, but I do enjoy it in here for some reason. So. All right, so hopefully you can kind of see how that's. Oh my gosh, let's hold it. So now Ooh. you're starting to see how that's coming together. It's making like a creamy, almost so cappuccino good. quality, cappuccino, <laughs> cold cappuccino though. Yeah. Oh, is it more like a latte? I don't know. Yeah, I guess. Mm. Very good. All right. So that's that's kind of the consistently you're looking for. Mmm, <laughs> delicious. Right. So that is fluffy keto Korean coffee. <laughs> it's yummy, trust me. And that's skim. And also, I was gonna say you can add pumpkin spice or cinnamon to it. We didn't do it this time, but that makes it yummy for the fall season. So. And so that is skim. All right. Signing off. Have a good day.